For this project, we wanted to create some simple GRP doors to cover these existing utility boxes. For projects such as boxes, hatch lids and simple doors like this, Melamine makes an excellent one-off fibreglass mould. As you can see, we've created a very simple box shape here, where the inside dimensions of the box are the outside dimensions of our finished project. A good tip is to use flash tape to seal the cut edges of the boards. That'll stop the resin from soaking in and damaging the mould, should you wish to use it again. Sellotape can be used for this, but it tends to crinkle and lift under the resin as the styrene solvents in the resins attack the glue in the sellotape. You can create a slight radius to the edges, which will help with release and provide an aesthetically more pleasing final part by filleting the corners with plasticine or filleting wax. Here, we're using Nakiplast and we're rubbing it into place with a fillet ball and that'll make a nice smooth radius in the edges. Wax sheet can be used to create small recesses. For example, here we've cut and applied some two millimeter sheet wax to mold the recesses needed to fit the hinges later. Obviously, when the part comes out, that's going to be reversed and that will turn into a recess. Next, we apply a light coat of mold release wax. We're using uh, the Miracle Wax here, but you can use any wax from our Meguiar's or TR range. As you can see, we just lightly apply this with a sponge applicator, and then we're going to buff that off with a cotton cloth. Next, you need to catalyze and apply a layer of gel coat. We've got a huge selection of coloured gel coats available on our website. However, if you're applying white gel coat onto white melamine, as in this project, please make sure you haven't missed any area. Uh, before the next stage, you need to make sure that the gel coat has cured sufficiently. So check the corners, especially as some deep or cornered sections can take longer. The gel coat should be tacky without any colour coming off onto your fingers. Then catalyze and apply a layer of polyester resin. We recommend general purpose for most applications or Lloyd's approved if this is for a boat or other marine application. Next, we're gonna start applying our chopped strand matting. For any sharp corners, we recommend putting in some uh, loose chopped strands and stippling in with a brush like so. And then our first layer of mat can be placed in. Uh, make sure you've cut this to size beforehand and tear the corners to enable it to fit into place. Once this is in place, we're then going to apply more resin. Once we've applied the resin, then use a paddle roller to flatten out the matting and work out any air bubbles. This consolidates the mat and the resin together. Use a radius or corner roller to expel any air from the corners. It's a good idea to let the first layer cure completely before applying further layers. This will ensure you have good consolidation of the first layer and it won't be disturbed by the rest of the process.
During the application of other layers, reinforcement materials can be applied around the outside edge or anywhere you think bolts or other fittings might be placed. For this project, we also sandwiched in some 5mm needleplast between the layers to give the part some extra stiffness. It'll also give our doors some extra thickness without really adding any weight. For big areas, such as constructing a boat wheelhouse, we'd recommend maybe 10 to 15 millimetres, depending on the rest of the fibreglass specification. And for boat decks, usually around 20 to 25 millimetres. Once the part has completely cured, it's a simple matter of unscrewing the screws from the edges and using a wedge to demould the part from our mould. You can then use a scraper or similar tool to easily remove the excess fillet wax, wax fillet, etc. Here we are bonding in some pieces of timber with epoxy and that will hold the screws for the hinges. The final part can also be cut back and polished, especially if there are any imperfections. And here it is, the final fiberglass doors in place. A simple and easy project.